Mobile police arresting two women in connection to a high-speed chase that all ended with a crash. Yeah, police spotting the suspects at the local gas station after a fight with a victim. Our Toy Thornton has the latest details. And Toy, this incident sort of ballooned into mm -hmm. something big. It did, Byron. And when these investigators say it all started with an altercation that led to bullets flying, ending with a chase where the suspects were driving more than 100 miles an hour. I'm innocent. I'm innocent, y'all. This is Carlisha Petway as she was being taken from MPD headquarters to Metro Jail. Investigators say the 21-year-old and 23-year-old Miracle Spelton are the two people who were in this car that crashed on I-10 this afternoon. We highlighted video of the car police say the suspects were in on top a handgun. Police say the altercation started when Petway and the victim ran into each other earlier today. Investigators say Petway and Spelton followed the victim to Raven Drive where the confrontation continued. Corporal Derek Dubo says the victim was able to get away in an apartment, but Petway fired shots at the empty car the victim was driving. The two of them left the location, um, ended up at a sitco somewhere here in Mobile, and through the course of investigations, officers were able to locate them in the vehicle. Uh, when officers approached, they um, fled the service station at a high rate, and that's when the officers got into a chase with them. The chase continued on to I-10. Dubo says during the chase, police lost track of the suspects and they switched seats with Petway behind the wheel now. Detectives say the car crashed on I-10 near Virginia Street. Dubo says the suspects were going more than 100 miles an hour. Unnecessary, unnecessary, I need to get out of my face. This evening, they were both taken into custody, then brought to Metro Jail. Petway was wearing a bandage around her head. It's unclear if this injury is from the fight or crash. Police say Petway is facing eight different Different charges, including assault third, no pistol permit, and shooting into an unoccupied vehicle. Spelton has four similar charges. On tonight, both suspects are in Metro Jail. Dubo says the victim has non-life-threatening injuries. In the newsroom tonight, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.